Fantastic Four issue 13 sees Ben beaten by the Puppet Master controlled Hulk, who is angered Ben isn't putting up a fight at all. Their battle causes a rock slide and Ben says that the people, including Alicia, are trapped under there and he needs Hulk to help stop it. Puppet Master gives himself away upon learning Alicia is trapped and Ben smashes the Hulk in the face, saying he should have known it was Philip Masters, but wonders how he controlled Hulk since he was in prison last time he saw him. The villain says that he is still in jail and is controlling the warden which allowed him access to outside the prison. Time is running out for Ben as he beats the Hulk, hoping to hit him hard enough to reawaken Bruce, but nothing works as he smashes Ben away, telling him he is the Hulk now and he's enjoying it. Puppet Master says that Hulk is a very willing puppet and once Ben is dead he will use him to save Alicia. Ben tackles Hulk, saying Puppet Master sixed the Hulk on him and put everyone here in danger because he married Alicia. Alicia meanwhile is stuck under the rubble with the rest of the guests and she corrals them and tells them to remain calm. They wonder if they should wait for the Thing but Alicia says Thing would stand a better chance against the Hulk if he isn't worrying about them. So leading them through the rubble, Alicia uses her knowledge of sculpting to find a load bearing rock and start removing the rubble. Above them, the Thing and the Hulk are still going at it and Hulk says that he wants this fight to happen since he sees it as Phil's revenge for Ben marrying his daughter. Ben reminds Phil that he asked him for permission but Hulk Hulk says that he never gave it to Ben, since Alicia was actually manipulating her father to say yes. Ben wants to know what that means exactly, as Puppet Master says that he will never defeat Hulk at his full power. Hulk was more than happy to stop Ben and smashing him over and over again as the final 10 seconds on his chronometer count down. Ben is blasted away by the Hulk as Alicia emerges from the rubble. She runs to him only to find that his countdown has stopped, meaning he only has a short amount of time before he actually turns human. Ben knows he let everyone down, but Alicia isn't having any of it, telling him that he can beat the Hulk. Ben wonders why she thinks that, when Hulk is clearly stronger and smarter than him, but Alicia says that none of that actually matters in this fight, since it isn't a fight about brains on brawn, it's about heart, and no one has a bigger heart than Ben Grimm. With his confidence renewed, Ben confronts the arriving Hulk, smashing him in the face with his vibranium ring, which causes his rocky skin to break open. The blow is so powerful, however, it destroys Puppet master's puppet, freeing the Hulk and knocking him out, just as Ben reverts to human form, falling unconscious on the beach from the fight. Later, Ben, now back in rock form, reawakens in the care of Reed. He shouts about his fight with the Hulk, but they tell him that that was a week ago. Ben notes the cast on his hand thanks to knocking off his rocky skin, but also that it's been a week, meaning he completely missed his honeymoon, and his time as a human has been reset. He apologizes to Alicia since they were going to start a family, but she's okay with it since they have lots of time ahead of them for that and besides, Ben just beat the Hulk fair and square. Ben is pretty impressed with that, telling Reed that once his cast is off, he wants his wedding ring bronzed. Later on the raft, Hulk has broken into the jail, confronting Puppet Master and crushing his hands for controlling the hero. The villain is shocked at what the Hulk has done, but that's not the last of it as Hulk intends to not stop there. Fantastic Four issue 13 was an awesome action-packed issue with a cool ticking clock element that added to the tension of the Hulk and Thing battling it out. The climax of the issue was really something special with Ben having that moment where Alicia tells him that he can truly win thanks to his heart. Alicia also got some really cool stuff to do this issue as well and I love that despite being blind she can still hold her own and still act as a leader to people. I really enjoyed this two issue story and I'm looking forward to the team's next big adventure. I'm gonna give this issue a 9 out of 10.